Welcome to Underrated Democracy. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The Prime Minister paused the pain of the carbon tax for only some people. The Liberal Rural Affairs Minister said, well, other people should have elected Liberal MPs if they wanted to be able to afford heating their home or feeding their kids. The Prime Minister has not denounced that viewpoint. In fact, he's doubling down on punishing people elsewhere. But Liberal MPs in Sudbury, Thunder Bay, North Bay, Sault Ste. Marie, they have starving constituents who are worried about the heat going out as well. Will they have a free vote on my motion to keep the heat on and take the tax off for everyone this Monday? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. As a government, we're phasing out the use of coal because it's dirty and bad for the environment. We're now moving on phasing out home heating oil because uh, it's dirtier, more expensive, and uh, is disproportionately relied upon by lower-income Canadians who don't have other choices. Over, over half a million Ontarians, Mr. Speaker, heat their homes with home heating oil. This program and this approach will not just give them a break, but in working with the government of Ontario, will deliver heat pumps uh, for Canadians right across the country. I invite Saskatchewan to work with us as well. We need to get Canadians off home heating oil. That's what we're going to do. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. With an answer like that, he's clearly not worth the cost, and he didn't answer the question as to whether or not his MPs would have a free vote, which begs the question whether his NDP MPs will get a free vote. The Saskatchewan NDP has just voted to endorse my motion to give equal tax-free heat for all Canadians. That is the position of the NDP in BC, Manitoba, and Alberta as well. Now the question is whether the NDP will vote against its cash-strapped constituents and in favour of the Prime Minister. So can the PM tell us, was, is this vote part of the coalition agreement or does the NDP have the freedom to vote for their constituents? The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition wants to talk about places across the country. Let's talk about them. 20,000 Saskatchewanians heat their homes with home heating oil. 50,000 Albertans and uh, about 100,000 British Columbians, Mr. Speaker. That is dirty, it is more polluting and it is more expensive, particularly for the predominantly lower income families that rely on this. That's why we're moving forward to replace them with heat pumps, uh, working with the provinces to deliver free uh, heat pumps for lower income families so that they can save money and fight pollution at the same time. This is about helping Canadians as we fight climate change, which the Leader of the Opposition has no plan for. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Prime Minister save his political bacon, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. And we know that because he's now admitted that his carbon tax is not worth the cost of oil for some people in some regions. My motion simply says that all Canadians get the same break. After all, a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. Yesterday, the Prime Minister indicated that he wants to have a carbon tax election on his plan to quadruple the tax to 61 cents a litre on heat, gas, and groceries. So will he confirm whether or not he considers my motion to keep the heat on and take the tax off a confidence vote? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, home heating oil is dirtier, more expensive and more relied on by lower income Canadians across the country. 1.3 million households across this country rely on home heating oil. That's why we're working uh, with the provinces that want to, to replace them for free with heat pumps. That's what this is about. Now, Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition uh, is making a serious mistake if he thinks uh, that Canadians are not concerned about the environment or that Canadians don't know that protecting the environment does go hand in hand with creating good jobs and prosperity for them across the country. Uh, that is a conversation I look forward to continuing to have over the next two years with Canadians. Here, here. 
Lenahan. The Honorable Member.